refloat uh, several animals and assess behaviour. So this entire operation, uh, a lot of it depends on how these animals respond once they've got um, water underneath them and are free floating. So that's the first step, get, get a few animals off, assess behaviour, and that will determine where we go to from here. I know what he is. Yeah, right. Well, there are a number of reasons as to why whales may strand. One of them may be misnavigation, these animals use a biological sonar known as echolocation. Maybe something has startled them acoustically underwater, which caused them to maybe scare. Or maybe there's a number of reasons such as misadventure. There is so many different variables and I guess the only way we'll know is potentially if we are able to obtain samples from individuals where there might be something indicative or we may never really know.